Thanks for tuning in to my file management video. Uh, this is just a, a quick video about the file management techniques in AutoCAD. Specifically what we're going to take a look at today is just how to create a new drawing, how to open an existing drawing, how to save changes to a drawing, and how to use the save as command uh, for the first time. Or you save as one time and then you're done. Uh, and so to illustrate this is I've got uh, AutoCAD open as well as Microsoft Word and so if you've ever used Microsoft Word, Excel or about any other uh, word processing type software then these commands should all be pretty familiar to you. So the first one that we have is new and so here in AutoCAD we've got a little new sheet of paper and over here in Word we've got new there as well. We also have open, save and save as. So these are all the same commands should be fairly familiar to the majority of you out there. So now just taking a look at AutoCAD, when we open AutoCAD we get this landing screen. And so it has a real easy way for us to open a drawing. And so here in the get started section, it's got start drawing. Right underneath it, it has templates. If you click that little arrow, it's showing you all the different templates that come stocked with AutoCAD. So it's showing you, unless you specify otherwise, it's going to open this ACAD.DWT template. And that's what we want to do for a while. You know, uh, here coming on down the road, we're going to talk about templates and we're going to set up our own templates. But for now, whenever you want to start a new drawing, one of the ways you can do it is just click on Start Drawing. That opens up a new drawing and you can start work in there. You can also come up to this little new sheet of paper. You can click there, it takes you to that same location. We can find our ACAD.DWT. We can hit Open. And that will also open a new drawing. You can also find it in the application menu. Hover over new, come over to new drawing, it takes you to that same location. You can click on ACAD.DWT, hit open. And then finally, the last way that you can create a new drawing is you can click on this little plus tab right there. You can click on it, it takes you back to this landing tab, click on new, and you can start a new drawing from there. So that's the different ways that you can create a new drawing in AutoCAD. You just need to know one of the ways and just continue to use that one way to do it. Another command that we have is the open command. It looks like a little manila file folder. So if you click on open, it takes you out to your computer to where you can then browse and you can find a document. So for instance, uh, right now I'm looking at files on my desktop. I currently don't have any AutoCAD files on my desktop. But I can also go through my different drives. Uh, we're set up on a network here. So I have an R drive, I have an S drive, a U drive. And so I just need to know where I'm, where I originally saved that file. I can browse to it just like I could from Windows Explorer. Browse to it, click on it. And then once you clicked on it, go ahead and click on open and it'll open that drawing up. Next couple of commands here, we've got save and save as. So we'll talk about save as first. So save as would be what you're going to use the first time that you save a drawing. So I've opened this new drawing. I'm just going to draw some lines in here and say I wanted to save this work. So I'd click on save as and AutoCAD's going to ask me what location do you want to save it in and what name do you want to give it. So for simplicity I'm going to go right to my desktop and I'm going to say that this is called triangle. So I specify where I want to save it at as far as what location, where at on my computer, where at on the network. I give it a file name and I hit save. And so save as you'll just use one time or you'll use it whenever you want to make a copy of the drawing you're working in. From that point on you'll just use save. So say for instance I make some changes to this I draw some more lines in here and I now I want to save these changes back to this original file called triangle that's when I'd use the save command and that's really all there is to it and so that's your new command your open your save and your save as and the next video that you're gonna view from me the next video will go into how to use our draw commands so we're gonna start taking a look at all these different draw commands in here. So I hope you'll 
you're looking forward to starting to learn how to create content in AutoCAD and how to create it accurately. So thanks for listening.